So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an Intersect tool in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So the Intersect tool is one of the commonly used uh, geoprocessing tool in uh, GIS, like uh, analysis or uh, the GIS based uh, workflows. So it's used because it actually provides uh, a really uh, useful uh, a kind of way to uh, to summarize information or uh, kind of uh, get an idea where uh, two different layers or uh, features or uh, the two different uh, feature classes kind of uh, overlap each other and which gives out some information uh, specifically on where the two layers actually uh, overlaps. So now using this particular example, so we're going to show you how to use the intersect tool in RGIS Pro. So uh, in the table of content section, uh, you can able to see we have two different uh, layers. So the first layer which represents the Chinook salmon sp uh, species and the second layer which represents the forest area. So with this particular study area which lies in Alaska, so you can able to see that. And the layer which represented in uh, the orange color, it's represented as the Chinook salmon species which resides in this uh, watersheds here. So uh, orange uh, indicates the watershed and uh, these are the watersheds where this particular Chinook salmon which resides, uh, which resides on and the second layer which represents the forest area which is represented in green color. So the objective of our analysis is to find out the total area where this Chinook salmon which resides on this particular forest areas. So we have to identify the total area where this Chinook salmon which resides on the uh, in this forest areas. So to identify that, so we're going to use the intersect tool. So in the table of contents section, uh, first I'm going to adjust the transparency of this particular layer. So in order to view the below lying layer that is above forest area. So to do that, to adjust the transparency, I'm going to select this particular layer. And I'm going to navigate to this option called feature layers. And uh, here we have this option called transparency. So here I'm going to adjust the transparency. So I'm going to make sure that the transparency is around uh, 30, 30 percentage. So now let me zoom into this part of the study area. So you can able to see the bit of forest area just, uh, which is lying uh, below the Chinook salmon species watershed areas. So we're going to increase the transparency here. So now we can uh, clearly able to view that below lying uh, forest area feature layer. And uh, from here you can actually able to see the some features uh, overlaps between the layers uh, Chinook salmon species and the forest area so these two layers are these are this particular layer is the overlap area so you can able to see and this uh, area is also the overlap area between the chinook salmon layer and the forest area you can able to see that so uh, using this uh, intersect tool uh, we can actually uh, calculate uh, those areas those forest uh, areas where the chinook salmon recedes in the total forest area where the chinook salmon recedes on so now let us navigate to the geoprocessing uh, tool to select our intersect tool. So we're going to navigate to this option called analysis. And in the analysis, we're going to select this particular option called tools, which represents the geoprocessing. So now here, a new window pop up saying geoprocessing. And in that, we're going to select this particular option called toolboxes. And now we're going to select the intersect tool, which is uh, inside this analysis tool and inside the overlay tool. And now you can able to see this uh, tool called intersect. So well, I'm going to click this. So now well, let us go through the information about this particular tool. So the intersect, it computes the uh, geometric intersection of an input feature. The features or the portion of features that overlaps in all layers or a feature class will be uh, written uh, to the output feature class. So the alternate tool is available for the intersect operation is the uh, pairwise intersect tool. So the pairwise intersect tool is similar to this uh, tool in the geometric intersections are computed but it's different in the intersections are uh, computed on the pairs of features rather than all combinations of feature. So uh, we have this intersect tool and uh, another way is to use a pairwise intersect tool so which is similar to the traditional intersect tool but is a bit faster compared to the the pairwise intersect tool is a bit faster compared to the intersect tool. So in the parameter section, uh, next we're going to focus on the input features. So uh, input features will be our Chinook salmon species and followed by we're going to select as the forest area. So in the next option, choose your output feature class. So we're going to select my output feature class. 
So navigate your folder location where you could like to save this uh, particular data set. So now I have navigated to the folder location where I could like to save this file. So I'm gonna mention the name as the Salmon uh, Distribution Forest Area. So now I have mentioned a Salmon Distribution Forest Area. So I'm gonna click OK. So the next option is uh, Attributes to Join. So we have this variety of different options, uh, Attributes to Join. So we have the first option is All Attributes except the Feature ID and only feature ID and last we have all attributes. So you can go through the detail about this particular option. So all attributes, uh, for example, all attributes from input features will be transferred to the output feature class and this is the default. So you can go through the other options that is available. So we're gonna leave it as a default as all attributes. And the next, uh, the output type, so we're gonna leave it as the default. So uh, same as the input. So you can go through the details about the other options here. For example, the line, the intersection uh, returned will be a uh, line and there is a only a valid if uh, none of the inputs are points. So we're going to select the default as same as an input. So you can go through the details about this particular tool in this section here. So you can able to see from here. So when we provide the two input features, one is in uh, rectangle and more than one another feature is in circle. Only the overlapping areas will be uh, will be provided. So this is what our intersect tool uh, does. So the next step, I'm gonna click this option called run to run our intersect tool. So now here in the table of contents section, we have this uh, layer called salmon distribution forest area. So now I'm gonna change the color of this particular uh, salmon distribution forest area uh, feature layer. So I'm gonna select uh, this particular option called black outline. And now you can able to see uh, it's resulted the overlapping areas. The, all the overlapping areas are indicated in, in the black outline. And now let me remind about my ob our objective. So our objective is to identify the total area, the total forest area where the Chinook salmon species which resides on. So to find that out, I'm going to navigate the salmon distribution forest area and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click this option called attribute table. So now to find the total area, total forest area where the Chinook salmon recedes on. So we're going to navigate this particular uh, field called shape area one. So we have this uh, shape area dash one. So, so now to calculate the total forest area where the Chinook salmon recedes, we're going to right click on this and uh, we're going to click this option called visualize statistics. So once you did that, we have this uh, chart called uh, the count versus uh, the shape area. And uh, this particular chart uh, provides us a nice histogram uh, kind of showing the distribution, the distribution of the shape area. So what I'm interested in this, uh, in this section here, that is statistics. So uh, you can able to see here, we have this uh, many different type of statistics available here. So for example, mean, sta median, standard deviation, rows, and minimum and maximum, and some value. So this is a sum value which indicates the, the total forest area by the Chinook Salmon which recedes on. So now we're going to copy this particular value here. So I'm going to copy this using Ctrl C in my keyboard. So this particular value which is uh, in uh, square meters. So to find the exact total area of total forest area by the Chinook Salmon recedes. So we have to convert it into a square kilometers. So to do that, we're going to copy this particular value. So using Ctrl C in my keyboard. So now I'm going to open a browser and I'm uh, going to mention that to convert from square meter to square kilometer. So now I'm going to paste my value here to convert the square meters to a square kilometers. So I'm going to paste, use my control V to paste the value. So now you can able to see here, it just converted the square meters uh, to square kilometers. So the total forest area by the Chinook Salmon which recedes uh, is 864,068 square kilometers of area where the total area where the Chinook Salmon recedes uh, in this study region. So let me get back to our GIS Pro. So in the next step, uh, I'm going to identify the, the total uh, Chinook Salmon species which resides in, in this following forest name, uh, in this following forest, for example, how much uh, fish species uh, which uh, is going to reside in this particular forest, uh, Sector 7. So for example, this particular Sector 7. I'm going to calculate the total uh, forest area in this particular forest called Sector 7 where the Chinook Salmon recedes in. So we're going to identify identify it using the select by attribute. So let me close this. So now we're going to navigate to this option called select by attributes. 
and a new window pop up saying select by attributes and in the input row i'm going to select the, this particular layer called the salmon distribution forest area and the selection type and the selection type it's going to be the new selection and uh, the expression so we're going to select this particular field called the forest name and uh, we're going to select is equals to and i'm going to select this particular forest uh, sector 7 so we're going to select the sector 7 so basically we're going to identify the total forest area in sector 7 where the chinook salmon resides. So before that let me show you the sectors. So we're going to turn on this particular forest area. I'm going to click this and I'm going to click this option called label. So now you can be able to view the sectors, sector 2, sector 1, sector 5, sector 7. So now I'm going to click apply and now I'm going to click OK. So these are the following sectors where the Chinook Salmon, uh, the forest, total forest area where the Chinook Salmon which recedes on. So to identify the total area, so I'm going to navigate to this option called Sa Salmon Distribution Forest Area. I'm going to click this option called Attribute Table. And I'm going to select this particular option called uh, Show Selected Records. And now we can able to see here. So I'm going to click this option uh, on this field called Shape Area. And I'm going to click this option called Visualize Statistics. And now you can able to see the chart, uh, the distribution of the shape area. And in the statistics, uh, you can able to see here. So you can able to see the sum value here. So this is the selection. So this is the total forest area, but sector 7 where the, the Chinook Salmon which recedes on. So I'm going to co copy this uh, using Control c from my keyboard. So it's currently in uh, square meters. So we're going to convert to a square kilometers. So again, navigate to, uh, I'm going to navigate to my browser section here. So I'm going to replace uh, this value. So now I'm going to paste my uh, value here using Control V in my keyboard. So now you can able to view the total, uh, the forest area in sector 7 where the Chinook Salmon receipts, which is around 18,047 square kilometers of area, where the Chinook Salmon which resides on the sector 7 forest area. So now let me get back to uh, RGIS Pro. So uh, Based on, our, based on our objective, I have shown you how to uh, identify the total forest area where the Chinook Salmon which resides on using the Intersect tool in RGIS Pro. So, uh, so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.